Future Year Def Starfighters, my name is Carlin Jones, and this is a Starfighter full episode review. And today we'll be watching Superman and Lois, episode two of the first season. Of course, uh, the third episode hasn't come out yet. So, so I went online after watching the first episode, and. A lot of people seem to like this show, which is awesome. I'm really happy that people like it. Um, I, I, I don't want people to hate a show. <laughs> especially especially something like Superman or, you know, superhero related to ours, where people really love these characters and, and these characters really spoke to them at a, at a certain point in their lives, so... That's awesome. People are loving this show, or or at least they see that there's a lot of potential in it. And um, from that, uh, from these, uh, or I should say, from the pilot episode, it's heading in the right direction, or the direction that they want, which is cool. Uh, I've seen a lot of people also say that um, this show is production value. It's like high compared to like the flash and arrow and all that stuff to the point where this should just be an hbo max show that's what that's what a lot of people are saying and i am i think the production value is pretty high on it um however um you can argue that it is just because there's just so much cgi crap <laughs> you can argue that but um uh, but yeah this is a full episode review and we're gonna watch the second episode uh, if you listen to that first episode that I've done, I gave the pilot episode like a 5 out of 10. But to my rule of these full episode reviews, if I'm starting a new show, I'm going to give it at least two episodes. Yeah, I gave it a 5 out of 10. I, I don't really care for these characters. However, it is the pilot episode. But one of my things uh, that I always say is the pilot episode will let you know what the first season is going to be or what to expect from the first season and then the entire first season will let you know what the entire series uh has a potential to to be so uh that's what i feel so that pilot episode i didn't really see much um i didn't really like the characters i didn't like superman i don't like the guy who plays superman uh i don't like lois lane um i don't like the kids <laughs> the sons um I, just, I don't like anyone and I already, I'm already discovering little nicknames to give people because I'm not gonna remember their names. Uh, I know one guy is supposed to be Lex Luthor, but uh, I'm gonna call him Master Chief because that's the outfit he's wearing. But yeah, let's just get right into this episode. I'm gonna be watching this on the CW's website, which is cw.tv.com. Um, I'll post a, a link to it. Yeah, this episode is 45 minutes and 2 seconds. All right. Thank God it's not going to be as long as the pilot. I thought that pilot was way too long. I understand it's the pilot and whatnot, but, like, dude, come on. All right. And interesting, this is a 45-minute show, which, you know, typically these CW superhero shows are about an hour. But normally when you get an hour-long show, you kind of know what to expect, or at least kind of know how it's going to be formatted a little bit. It's definitely going to be a lot of dialogue. A lot of dialogue. So let's get into it. Uh, episodes 45 minutes, two seconds long. The CW's website is where I'm watching it. And let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's going to be five ads. Um, I'll post timestamps below on how you can skip the ads if you don't want to hear me talk over the ads. Um, but last time, I uh, the ads skipped on mine. I don't have an ad blocker up, at least I don't think so. Hopefully we'll skip this time, so we'll see. All right, starting the episode in five, four, three, two, one. Go. There's like this delay. Every time I click play, it's like a, a second delay. Yeah, but feel free to follow the timer below to kind of match up whatever time I'm I'm on.
Mm, that recap. I'm surprised the other son didn't have a big, a bigger problem of leaving Metropolis. All right? He was varsity. His QB. He was a QB on varsity. He's given that up. He has a girlfriend back there. He's given that up. Um, unless they're gonna like, you know, long distance a little bit. Which honestly, Metropolis and Smallville. How how far of a drive is that? Somehow I feel like it's not bad. If it's like two hours, that's not long distance. Um. Yeah, it seemed like that the the other son had more to sacrifice. I'm surprised he was okay with it, or he didn't put up much of a fight about it. Well, if he made QB as a freshman at whatever high school is in Metropolis, he's about to kill it out here in these backwoods <laughs> high school. <laughs> he's about to dominate these, these leagues. Okay, now you have a lot to learn from saying that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, that's our point, you dumbass. What? How is someone this stupid? I almost killed someone. What's the big deal? Yeah, not much has changed, apparently. <laughs> I'm not digging him as Clark Kent. I'm sorry. Please comment below who's the best Clark Kent you've ever seen. It's still Dean Kane in my eyes. Christopher Reeve is still the best Superman. Yeah, Clark, you're unemployed now. Now you have none, no choice but to stay with the kids. And when Superman is needed, you'll go. It's not working, guys. Throw a flag. Flag out. A uh, frag out, I'm sorry. Frag out. It's a Gears of War uh, reference. No, oh, he's gonna kill you anyway. Oh, I guess not. Well, I would have held my ground. <laughs> Man, you ain't scaring me, Master Chief. Well, he definitely can't tell you now. <laughs> oh, because you know you can't beat Superman. Am I the only one who felt like that battle between him and Superman was weak? Like, if you really know how strong Superman is, like, dude, you're, like, barely scratching him. What he did to your world. Hmm. I'm guessing this is a story arc where Superman, or maybe not that Superman, but another uh, superhero Kryptonian person 
is uh fighting someone on a different planet and is trying to help that planet and the fight got so big so out of control that it like destroyed a planet and he was una unable to save everyone kind of like how goku and frieza was or goku and pretty much everybody <laughs> he faced i'm guessing that's how it is and this guy won't uh won't accept what really happened That's true. Put on the tunes. Oh, actually, forget the radio. Give me the ox cord. What podcast are we listening to? Somebody on Twitter asked me the other day, what podcast, do I, am I on a podcast? They love my voice so much. <laughs> it's great. Uh, here we go again. Yeah, I am. The playbook. For a quarterback... You're dating this clown? Oh, this is another reason why I don't like her. <laughs> oh, Woo! <laughs> no, that's a no ooh ooh. Ooh, is this his lair? That Superman lair? I forgot what it's called. Whatever it is, it doesn't look like it's done. Ah, see that everyone? It's called parenting. We're writ we're witnessing it. Witnessing it. <laughs> God. Well, you know, the other son should should go on this too, you know. He is half Kryptonian. Just the same half as the other brother. But, you know, I guess I understand. Sometimes parents raise... I mean, you know, they raise their kids, but, you know, they treat the other one differently. Mm -hmm. Don't you already have a job? <laughs> but I, I, I hear what you're saying. More jobs, more capitalism. Bubbles. Someone said that this Lois Lane looks like the Lois Lane from the first Superman movie in the seventies. I don't see it at all. Hell no. And I love those movies. I remember watching the uh, Superman two with my dad when I was a kid. It's a good memory.
<laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't a laughable moment, but. This is just like God of War. When, uh, what's his name? Atreus? Once he found out that he was like half God, or he's not even half God, right? Or wait, technically he is half God. Once he found out he was like half God, he was like, look at these peasants. Ugh. He started having an attitude and shit. I feel like, I feel it. I feel it. It's gonna happen. I'm sure the other son will hear it regardless. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> remember me and my brother, whenever my mom's like, come on, we're going to the store. I'm like, no, we don't want to go to this freaking store. Especially if we can't get anything. Okay, you put a tracker on it. Which is a tracker? Oh. Okay. Next time you got him, just shoot him out of the sky. Don't call me. <laughs> you don't need my permission. You would have done something. I'm sure you would have. What? <laughs> she just asked about my playbook, bro. Calm, calm down. Who's that guy in the back? The back left? Look at his mustache. It's pretty legit. I went to school. I went to college with a guy. He had the, like... A crazy, amazing mustache. It was like what you would see from like Western movies, like how it curls up to the top and it's like super long and like out. It was great. Yeah. Hope he's doing well. Or like, if you want to start working for print and join a 21st century. <laughs> man, oh man. You know, I would enjoy having a house like that in the middle of nowhere. Next grocery store is like miles away. I wouldn't mind that, actually. I wouldn't mind that at all. The problem is, being in the country, there's so many bugs. So many bugs. What? You need to beware. No one works in print. Now, I understand about the football thing, about the, the other son.
Their childhood is over. <laughs> They're teenagers. What hell? What are you talking about? What? Shut up. Why ever, why ever, why every time he has a monologue, I'm t at the end of his monologue, I'm saying, get the fuck out of my face. Is that the only reason why you like this guy? Because he's offering jobs? How you ask what kind of jobs those are? Ooh, what happened there? Hmm. Hmm. Minds? <clears throat> no, that's destroying half the planet, though. Making mines? Did you know that in America alone, there's over 500,000 mines that are abandoned? Like, they, de they depleted whatever they want out of it. It's gone. So now it's just there. They just dug into the earth and now they just left it there. <clears throat> Y'all clapping now. Y'all just wait. What happens to the earth? We've seen what happened in Texas. That's, that's the definition of global warming. We'll see. My favorite rapper, XV, has a really good a really good line about that. It's, um, how did it go? He says, XV is here. I appear. I gave you a warning, like global warming, but I guess you didn't care. Something like that. That's pretty dope. Destroy a ship. You're still barely scratching, Superman. If he really wants to beat this guy, I already know how Superman can, can kill this guy. Like, already. Oh, what is he doing? He should have just, like, dug into his, like, suit. Like, whoa. Like, make a crater right there. Nope. Nope. Take the risk. He's going to kill more people if you do it. Take the risk. What does it say on the uh, movie Wanted? Save, s spare, or what is it? Sacrifice a hundred, save thousands, save, or s sacrifice thousands, save millions, and like all that good stuff. show still looks fake as hell what is superman's suit made out of oh my god he should have killed him he should have just took him to fly him up into outer space and kept going just kept going superman will be fine in space right
Yes, sir. <laughs> but y'all gonna respect him at the end of the day. Watch. This boy like a uh like a Peyton Manny. No, he probably a little bit more athletic though. Like a lot more athletic. Hey man. Are you serious, bro? Oh, wait, first off, you don't do that kind of tackle at practice. How is he not, like, off the team from that? You never full-on contact a quarterback at, at, at practice. Never. That is the dumbest shit I've ever seen thus far on the show. You never do that. We already have a quarterback. Nigga, that's why there's called backup quarterback. Excuse my language. Like, I don't... Like, what the... Mm. I have my emotions get the best of me right now. I still can't. I, I can't stop thinking about that that hit he hit on the quarterback. Yeah, man, go ahead and do that. I got some quarterback shit to do. Yeah. All right, later. He has such a stupid haircut. Well, he is a kid. He's still a teenager. Come on. <laughs> He's still growing. All right. Hey, that's good news. You can be a normal kid. What are you crying for? Wasn't he just crying in the earlier episode? Talking about, oh, I guess I'm still a freak. 
and now you're you're not a freak. Now you're ah, I'm just <laughs> there he goes again. Yeah, I'm sick of your crap too, Jordan. Okay, now I'm sick of you too. Keep your expectations low, kid. But what about the playbook? I ain't never gonna learn that play. I'm going to be watching her. The girl who's talking now, I'm watching her. If she makes any any type of lead on Clark, ooh, you homewrecker. Ooh, she hasn't yet. I feel, I feel it. If she does it, I swear to God. You better super headbutt her. This is a nice house. And it begins. No, not the way to the world, just Metropolis. I wonder how big Smallville is. How are y'all not playing Mario Kart? Yeah, some dumbass tackled a quarterback at practice. I wonder who he's dating. <laughs> it's a funny thing I heard this whole entire episode. Oh, shut up, Chase. From Zoe 101. <laughs> That's his nickname, Chase. Lex Luthor is Master Chief. Um, <clears throat> that little girl's like, what the hell are y'all talking about? <laughs> Trying to get in on this Mario Kart, though. Oh, this ain't Mario Kart. What kind of controllers? How? Okay, ain't the end of the world. Who cares, man? Let's get some barbecue. I never understood that. The whole barbecue thing. Like, got a barbecue outside. Have my beer. Yeah, yeah, duh. <laughs> I never. Well, I never barbecued before, so. I don't know. But I love cooking. Absolutely love it. Love cooking. Love baking. I baked a lot of things.
No. No. What? Wah, wah, wah. Don't debate with her, bro. You're going to lose that debate. I don't eat pork. <laughs> <laughs> Clark, Clark, Clark is just like me at parties, just posted up against the wall, <laughs> just like watching everybody. She said, what? Ah, I'm talking too much. And he's ready to get that ass kicked again. You know he can't fuck with Superman. Yo, put your guns down. You're not going to be able to hit him. No? How about you tell them? You know, damn well, that's not going to do anything. Just useless. Yeah, Superman should be there by now. How long does it take for Superman to go around the world? He should be there. Like, right now. Department of Defense. You think it'll be better security than just men, right? Yeah, kill him, Superman. Alright, now just bring him down and just suplex him all the way down. He will not survive that. There you go. Now fly up and do it again. Ugh, it's a robot. Touche, Master Chief. Touche. And in case you go rogue. Yeah, Superman can't be that dumb to think that um, the world, the defenses of the world will not have a plan to stop you in case you actually do go rogue. Because you... They're just relying on you being a good human being, knowing damn well you can take over this entire world <laughs> if you wanted to at a split second. That's scary. They could wake up one day and be like, hey, Superman said he had enough. He said, he said, fuck everybody. <laughs> like, oh, okay. 
that's um that's like uh that really good DC movie animated movie called Justice League Doom when Batman had a uh, I had a a plan on how to stop each Justice League member because he told him like y'all are stupid to think I don't have a plan to stop all of you in case you all go rogue <laughs> especially Superman and that's true you can't be mad at that they've never seen someone like you before well granted this is the DC universe I don't know I don't know where Flash is and all that stuff but I assume they exist in this universe maybe they've seen something like him maybe Yeah, uh huh. Whatever. Up, up, and away. It's an old Disney movie. Up, up, and away. I have a great story on set. I got to meet um, Robert Townsend. He's like the star of that movie and the director of that movie. I was so nervous meeting him. I, um, maybe I'll save the story for like another another review. But it was so cool. It was so. I bet he was directing. Um, he directed a little bit of the first season, or probably like half of the first season of um, uh, what's that show called? American Soul on BET. I was on that for the. Uh, There's only two seasons, so I did the I did the first two seasons on it. So. Yeah, who gives a damn? We don't know that fool. <laughs> It'd be funny if he was like, psych! <laughs> Get out of my face. I got a date tonight. Oh, God. We're in trouble. What's up? What, what is stopping Superman from taking over the world and giving these kids a super spanking? You could. She just doesn't suit me as a Lois Lane. I'm sorry. Terry Hatcher is one of the best Lois Lanes. I'm sorry. I had to say it. I had to say it. At least season one, Terry Hatcher. Excuse me. My registration. Ooh, that's a good line. Oh, 
Is that Ellie from Degrassi? Oh! <gasps> oh, imagine if she was Lois Lane. Well, she's a redhead, so she can't really do it, but, but still. Hey, she looks good. She looks great. Yeah, she looks great. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I thought she did some better writing than that, but that's still cool. <clears throat> yeah, he's actually stronger. Or he's actually, you know, that real deal. You're not going to beat Superman, man. Go on somewhere. Doomsday couldn't even beat Superman. Technically he did, but he lost too. Oh, this guy's delusional. All right, that's the episode. That was season one, episode two of Superman and Lois. I can see why people like this show. I'm, I personally think it's stupid, but hey. Uh, episode three. Oh, episode three's out. Hmm. Superman and Lois Heritage Extended Cut. Oh. Uh, Oh, whatever. Perks of being a wallflower. That is an amazing... Oh, wait. Perks of not being a wallflower. <laughs> that is a great movie. <laughs> I love that movie. Uh, Perks of being a wallflower. Um, but, yeah. Is this the full episode? Episode three? Uh, do I want to watch this? I don't know. It's like... it's There's some really dumb stuff in this. That's just like like this would not fly today but hey it is what it is um yeah it's the full episode three. Oh, i don't know if i'm gonna watch this um my score stays the same i think it's still a five out of ten um uh, there's just no likable characters i mean there's no likable characters um for me personally 
I think the teenagers, the teenage boys, uh, you know, the two sons, I think they're a bit whiny. And I know they're supposed to be high school teenagers and whatnot, but I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like, the, what's his name, Jordan? I feel like he keeps backtracking as if the writers, or maybe the writers, or at least his character, he doesn't know why he's upset he doesn't know why he's complaining he doesn't know why he has his temper tantrums like it doesn't make sense like his first temper tantrum was like oh i'm like i'm gonna be like i'm gonna be like you dad i'm gonna be like superman or or hold on hold on first episode right first episode He's like, I'm a, I'm an introvert. I'm a freak. I don't, I don't fit in anywhere. I'm the black sheep of this family. Uh, uh, I'm a freak. Uh, right. That's his, that's his whole thing. Right now. Episode two, he figured it out. Oh my God. I'm going to be like my dad. I'm going to be Superman. Yeah. 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 And then, then he overhears that. Oh, you're not going to be like your dad because you're half kryptonian right you're only gonna have half the powers maybe someday but you're not you're never gonna be like your dad fully and now he's crying about that because like uh, uh, uh. like first he was upset that he was like gonna be a super bean right because he's gonna be a freak now he's upset again because now he's not gonna be a freak <laughs> that's stupid let alone the antagonist the two antagonists of this show there's like a subplot antagonist of like the high school. Uh, I don't know what position he plays. Something in defense. Uh, high school. Excuse me. High school bully or whatever. And then there's the antagonist of the other black guy. All the antagonists on the show are, are black people, which is weird. But it is what it is, I guess. They have a purpose for showing that. Maybe, I mean, my guess from how the season's gonna go, I think the kid who's in high school, I think they're setting up to be a fake opponent ally, someone who seems like an opposing threat at first from how they come off. Uh, but eventually, he's gonna be probably one of the best friends of the of the two sons. That's how I'm gearing it to be, possibly. Or he could just continue to be an adversary throughout the entire season. You never know. But um. Yeah, or, but yeah, that's what I think. And I, I, this other guy, Lex, I don't know if he's Lex Luthor or Lex, whatever, this or that, whatever. Um, someone made a guess on some YouTube channel saying that maybe this other Lex is from like a different Earth and he came through. That's one hell of a guess because apparently this guy must be from a different Earth or another alternate reality if he knew this guy. All right, he knew the general. But the general doesn't know him and he destroyed his planet but now he's there that's like that's like on a whole different level i don't know what the fuck's going on with this but whatever they're gearing up to tell some type of story i guess but um but yeah maybe maybe we'll watch episode three i swear to god if another thing pisses me off about that fuck that football excuse my language on that it was like so Anyone who watches football, anyone who's like really knows football, you don't even have to like really know football. You should know. Arguably, the most important position in football is the quarterback. You never, ever, ever put any type of contact on your quarterback in practice. Never. Why on earth would you do that? People get injured all the time in practice just from just doing stuff. And even when the de defense wants to play tackle with whoever, you know, whatever. It's like... Come on. This is so stupid. Um, what else I, I don't like about it? Well, we, I'm finally seeing Lois Lane do Lois Lane things. So that's cool. Um, yeah, that that's cool. Um, finally. Um, other than that, I mean, I... I see, I see her doing a little bit more mothering than, than the last episode. So that's good. Um, that's good to see. She puts her foot down and whatever she says go. Because she's like, you know, the mom and stuff. Which is cool. Um, I need to get a screenshot of, of this. Um, so that's cool. I still don't care about Clark Kent. The guy who's, who's playing Superman. 
I think more as I watch it, I think he fits into being Superman Clark Kent a little bit better. But I still don't like his Superman and Clark Kent. Um, because honestly, I don't know. I feel like Christopher Reeve... I felt like... I felt like Christopher Reeve, Dean Cain, uh, who else plays Superman? Uh, I'm not even going you know, to talk about that Superman Returns movie. I felt like Dean Cain and Christopher Reeve, I felt like they had something special, right? I felt like Dean Cain was such an honest Clark Kent to the point where it made sense that people couldn't tell who Clark Kent and Superman were because he had such a different personality, right the way he walked the way he talked the way he would con converse with people and just his uh i don't know i guess maybe like his demeanor uh similar similar to like peter parker and and spider-man how oh, spider-man is just like super confident guy but then when he gets to be peter parker he's like well no shit hasn't changed people people still think i'm not shit around here so it's it a little bit of that that made dean kane special to me as like a superman and whatnot and the same with christopher reeve from when i watched christopher reeve as a kid he was just like i don't know like it's just you really see the balance you know now like uh, uh, christopher reeve you really see the struggle of balance like he wants to be with lois lane but he has to be Superman and he has to keep this a secret because he wants to protect her. Like that whole thing. You don't really get that with this one because obviously they're together, uh, already married, have kids. Um, and he's not really keeping his secret anymore and not to protect them. Although he should have just told them to begin with because that was just stupid that he didn't tell them. Um... But yeah, I'm still... Hey, listen, it's only two episodes in, right? I'm still waiting to find out why this Superman is special. Right? There's got to be that one little special thing. And I felt like all the Supermans, uh, at least the ones that I named, uh, Christopher Even, uh, Dean Cain, they all have that little special little factor that's like hidden in that Superman comics that they have with them that makes that character special so i'm just still waiting to see that with this actor or you know this 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 new uh rendition of superman uh i don't see that i i think there's some, a lot of cool shots i like that shot when he was talking to the general and his face was completely in shadow and there was like the american flag behind him i thought that was really cool um but it's just a shot <laughs> i will forget it in t minus 10 seconds um so yeah um uh, i mean that's just my reason that's, that's just that's just what i think um if i was to write the superman show what would i hmm i'm trying to think what would i do to kind of make it stand out hmm I don't know. Maybe we'll discuss that in episode three, which I might I might watch. I know I, I said to myself, I was like, oh, I'll probably give this two episodes. I didn't think that episode three was already out already. Maybe I'll I'll watch it and just just upload it. Do it do it pretty quick. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. We'll we'll do episode three. Why not? Episode three. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Did episode three come out, like, t today? It's like... Well... I'm, I'm confused all right um i guess it kind of like premiered and now like the next day it's like out there right what time is it oh okay yeah that makes sense that makes sense that makes sense that makes sense yeah oh yeah i think that's what exactly what happened all right well then hey i think that'll help my channel if i uh, watch episode three and then upload it hmm, maybe 
All right, well, that's just some talk. Um, episode three, I'm going to go over my favorite DC superheroes of all time. So that's going to be fun. So with that said, this has been a Starfighter full episode review. This has been uh, Superman and Lois. The episode was around 45 minutes and two seconds. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this 45 minute format works for it the best. That one hour, hour and three minutes. Oh, my God, that was too long. But, yeah, that was the uh, episode. If you guys want to... Um, if you want me to do more of these, uh, watching Superman, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to recommend me a show to watch, all you have to do is subscribe and comment below on what you want to watch with me. The, the, uh, the focus of these full episode reviews is that you never have to watch TV alone because I'm going to always be there with you watching your favorite shows and movies all day, every day. I will be here. And it's not weird to talk to yourself while you listen or watch these because I'm there with you and you're here with me too, talking. So that's the main purpose of this because I love talking about TV and movies of all genres and everything about it. So with that said, this has been a Starfighter full episode review and I'll see you on the next one. Victory or death, Starfighters.